Hello my viewers, welcome back to the channel. By the video title, you know what this video is about. Today I'm just discussing a little quick thing. Like I've seen the topic circulate around. I think I've seen, it was Ryan Clark. He was on um, one of the NFL shows in the morning. He was talking about it. And you know, a lot of fans were talking about it too as well on Twitter and social medias and stuff like that. I've been hearing a, a lot of articles. Is it time for Arthur Smith to take the training wheels off of uh, Justin Fields? As you guys know, Justin Fields is the guy. Uh, I know they keep saying Russell Wilson is going to be ready and prepared. Um, people had the question uh, circulating around like, no. Uh, Russell Wilson, he might go out there and be cool and stuff, but I think he just rolled with the high hand. He rolled Justin Fields. Just like last year when Kenny Pickett was 7-4. He wasn't playing the best football, but still the team was 7-4 when he went down. But then Mason Rudolph came in, maybe one of those three straight games, and he gave us offense we haven't seen in a while. And then when he got healthy, it rolled with Mason Rudolph still. Like that, he rolled with the third guy out there as well So because of the high hand. So I think the Steelers do the same with this situation right here. Roll with Justin Fields. He's showing you that he can go out there and be a manager and manage games. And he also showed you can go out there and be a playmaker and win games for you as well and put you in winning contention. Um, I think it's time for Arthur Smith to kind of like take the training wheels off of him, let him go out there and play a little more freely. Not too freely where he's like turning the ball over because you can kind of see that he kind of like progressed a lot as a player. He's not willing to risk certain things. Remember, sometimes he had opportunities. I think the last game, you know, the team was playing from behind. Remember, he had opportunity. People were like, why didn't you throw that ball right there? He stepped up. Got, got to the side, stepped up in the pocket, and he threw a side arm, a nice side arm to um. There was Pat Fry. There was um, George Pickens, a fat, Pat Fryer move. One of those guys that was open. Um, so he did a good job in doing that and utilizing his pocket and having pocket awareness up as well. So I think, hey, they train the wheels off of him. We've been seeing it kind of like lately. Every week they, they give him more freedom, more freedom, more freedom. I think this game right here, the way this game is set up, the Cowboys defense is kind of depleted. Now I'm not saying that they can't make plays. Cause I think they still have some. You know, they have a few individuals who can go out there who make some plays. And they may be missing Mark, Michael Parsons and missing Demarcus Lawrence, but they still have some guys who might can make some plays, some splash plays if you're not careful. Especially with our old line being a little banged up as well. See, Amalu should be back this week. And um, we lost James Daniels, but we got McCormick. McCormick's doing a pretty solid job as well. Marty Jones, Dan Moore, Frazier. So those guys are going to be our guys. But don't get too overconfident and think it can be a cakewalk. So I think the Steelers, just like go out there and on um, this game, like Justin Fields, just be him. Play his style of game. I think this is one of the games he can build big time confidence. And you can find a way to win this game. Then you'll be, um, what, four, you'll be four and one. Four and one. And then you'll be like, okay, we're ready now to get things going even further. So. That's kind of my opinion on it. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. You think Justin Fields should stay? Um, you know, like um, like in this type of situation he is right now, or you should you think they should like say, hey, we're gonna let him go out there and do the things you want to do. More freedom, create a freedom out there as a player to kind of see that playmaking ability that he had. Like that kind of, kind of we saw a little bit with the Colts game. We were like, okay, there it go. That's the stuff I love to see right there. He had almost 400 yards of offense and three touchdowns. So I'm looking to see him go out there and ball out this game too as well, send that football and prime time all the lights are on too as well. Our first prime time game of the year. So everybody will be watching our game and looking at us and Justin Fields to go out there and show them that he's not the same player he was last year. He's a different guy and a different level as well. So we'll see what happens. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did like and subscribe, I hope you guys tuned in of course um, earlier today for my own um, game preview as well. But that's all I have for today's um, video, and I'll see you guys next time on the channel. Peace out.